I'm Kira Morgan with Pacific Northwest News and Entertainment with Chris Chandler from Central Lincoln PUD and we are inside her Leaf. It's a Nissan Leaf. It's an all electric vehicle. And I don't know if you can tell or not, but it's incredibly quiet. I'm thinking of hijacking it for a studio. It's so quiet. <laughs> <laughs> so, Chris, tell us a little bit about the electric vehicles and why you're so sold on them. Oh, my goodness. Um, well, first of all, they're significantly cheaper to fuel um, compared to a gas-powered car. So we did the numbers comparing same size vehicle, same make of vehicle, although in the Tesla 3 it's hard to get a comparison because Tesla doesn't make a gas-powered. <laughs> we did a, a, a similarly sized Tesla 3. Uh, compared to a Mercedes, and it's 80% cheaper to fuel your vehicle with electricity over gasoline. And that's so important is, you know, if you've traveled through town, you're seeing gas prices jumping up 10, 15, 20 cents at a pop. And uh, when they start to go down, they may drop by a penny or two over the course of a long period of time until they start to go back up again in those 10, 15 cent increments. Um, so your electric vehicle, tell us a little bit about it and why you love it so much. Okay. Well, I'll start it just so you can hear. Um, Nissan has this fun little chime that it does when it's on to let you know that it's on because otherwise there's really nothing else that tells you it's on. Providing a financial off, home. Off just... the radio. There we go. Okay, and just to accelerate, I'm hitting the accelerator. There's no sound. There's nothing. It's just super, super quiet. So I love how quiet it is. I love how fuel efficient it is. And I, although I do work for an electric utility, that's actually not why I went to a gas electric powered car, excuse me. Uh, the reason I went electric was because it was cheaper. Um, I was able to lease my first Nissan Leaf for $3,000 down and my payment was $145 a month. And I was spending $200 a month on gas. Talk about the no-brainer. Um, this one is newer and has more range, um, and I leased it for zero down. My payment's $259 a month. So unbelievably cost-effective. And also, the maintenance costs are significantly less. Uh, there's no oil changes, no fan belts, no tune-ups, no spark plugs. The only thing I've had to do, and I've driven now between my two Leafs and a, a Chevy Bolt I drive at work, um, I've driven over 100,000 electric miles, and the only things I've had to do are new tires, windshield wiper fluid, new wipers. Wow. Yeah. So, so that a is a significant savings yeah. in uh, car maintenance. Uh, the next question is how long it takes to charge, and if there's any downside to, like, plugging it in overnight once it's charged and you still have it plugged in, is that an issue? No. Um, it, it turns off once the batteries are fully uh, charged and the charging action stops and it's an automatic thing it just goes click click done and so um, yeah it's a great way to charge at night is what most of us do and like I said you wake up in the morning it's fully charged and you can drive away so do you have some kind of a, a alert or something that lets you know like the gas light <laughs> right 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 absolutely um, right here on on the panel and all EVs have this at some level or, or or so it tells me what percentage of my battery is charged at this point I'm down to 21% which is not where I prefer to be um, and I have 21 miles left of range now that's a kind of a ballpark I could probably drive it fully to zero and I probably have another seven miles but I never like to depend on that. That's never fun. Um, it's a little stressful, actually. It's like driving a gas-powered car. You know, you wouldn't leave. Yahats no longer has a gas station. You wouldn't leave Waldport with only one gallon of gas to head to Florence because that would be risky. You might run out of gas. Right. And the same thing's true with electric vehicles. So it's just a matter of being mindful. And uh, and range is certainly something that uh, anybody looking to get an EV is something they should think about. I've had several people stop by today that say, I just want a car for just knocking around Lincoln County. Then they only need 80 miles of range and they can probably get a used EV with that and get it fairly inexpensively. Um, for some of us, you know, I like to go visit my parents in Roseburg. Uh, 200 is looking awful good because I have to usually charge once or twice on the way there and on the way back. How long does it take to charge your car up? So if you're stopping, you've got a you know, getting gas takes, if they're not terribly busy, right. uh, about five, five minutes, minutes right. yeah. Right. So what about charging your car? It is longer, definitely, on a, a, a publicly accessible charging station. Those are the fastest charge, they're 440 volts. Um, they are um, AC, DC, DC fast chargers, thank you. Um, and so it does take longer, but there's plenty of things to do when you charge. You walk the dog, you get a meal, restroom, return phone calls, 
Um, sometimes I uh, pay bills. I mean, there's just you know loads of things to do when you're charging. I never lack for something to do. Um, you can certainly walk around. Excuse me, if you're if you're charging someplace in a retail area, you might go shopping. Mm -hmm. um, there's always, like I said, there's always something to do. The charging station here in Newport, the the, the main public charging station, is by La Roca and La Maison. So you know people can p pick up a snack or have a meal, walk down to the Bayfront. So it only takes about what half an hour. hour? Oh, a half about hour. Well, for That's a Nissan Leaf with a hundred miles range, about a half hour. Um, I can't speak to the Teslas, but you know it all depends on how much range you need. And so you can take a look or you know how many more miles of, of charge you need and you can charge to what you need plus, you know, maybe 10, 20 miles for pad. Go that now way. are these available in Lincoln County at some of the oh, local dealerships? That's an excellent question. Thank you, Kara. <laughs> well, uh, the answer is yes, sort of. Um, <laughs> for a brand new electric vehicle, um, you can get a Honda Clarity at SunWest. You could buy a Prius Prime, which is a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle here at Toyota of Newport. And those are really the two. Um, so a lot of people do go to the Valley. I obviously, there's no Nissan dealership here. I had to go to the Valley. Um, and uh, you just have to go with the dealer that you've heard the best things about or whoever will make you the best deal. Um, Teslas are mostly ordered online. So there isn't really a Tesla dealer. Mm -hmm. um, you order online and make the arrangements that way. Um, I can't speak to where the smart car people got theirs, um, but there are also some used electric vehicles at the various dealerships. I know um, uh, Power Chevy has several used electric vehicles, um, sometimes the Ford. Um, I know that Jay with his Honda Clarity traded in his Nissan Leaf like mine <laughs> and got a Honda Clarity. He did that at SunWest. I even know the people who bought his, Honda, <laughs> his, his, his Nissan Leaf when he was done with it. So um, you can find them, but uh, sometimes you have to go to the valley. Now, what about rebates? We've been hearing mm, things yes, back and forth of, you yes, know, sometimes they're available, sometimes yes, they're not. Yeah. Can you clarify sure. that? Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Um, there is a really, really nice federal tax credit of $7,500 available for most electric vehicles, except for the Tesla and now Chevy uh, made electric vehicles. And the reason for that is, is that the federal tax credit is available for uh, vehicles that have not, companies that have not sold 200,000 or more electric vehicles. Tesla's hit that number and Chevy just hit that number. And at that point, they ramped down the federal tax credit. So right now for Chevy and for Tesla, it's 3,750 to customers who buy it and get delivery by a certain time frame. And then after that six month period is over, then it goes down to $1,000 and change. So that is being ramped down. However, Jay with his Honda Clarity from Logston, he got the full $7,500 federal tax credit plus another $2,500 from the state. So I got $10,000 off his brand new Clarity. Wow, that's yeah. amazing. Pretty big score. All right, Chris, is there anything else that you want to add? Mm -hmm. um, feel free to email me at info at clpud.org for questions about electric vehicles. If I can't answer the questions, I can find somebody who can. I'm happy to supply our customers with a copy of the Electric Car Insider's Buyer's Guide so they can make an informed choice of what EV meets their needs. And uh, it's a pretty exciting field. Um, there's pickups coming out next year, a company called Rivian, and also some uh, crossover vehicles such as the Hyundai Kona, uh, which is a crossover. So um, it's an exciting, exciting time. <laughs> Absolutely, it's pretty cool. I think if every, you know, the average American drives 36 miles, 38 miles a day. Um, if people drove just that first 38 miles on battery, the amount of carbon we would keep out of the air and the pollution we would keep out of our air is significant. All right. Well, thank you so much yeah, for thank sharing you, thank your you. wonderful. And now we have uh, Jay from Logston <laughs> uh, <laughs> photo bombing us or, or video bombing, as the case may be. <laughs> okay. I'm Jay from Logston. I have a Honda Clarity, which I consider to be the best value for a hybrid electric plug in car that there is on the market today. And the reason is because this car will go. 45 to 50 miles on just electric only, and then if the battery, once the battery gets down below 60%, not only can it be in hybrid mode, we can actually be in hybrid charge. We'll actually charge the battery back up to 60%, so you can go back to electric when you're doing your in-town drive. It only has a seven-gallon gas tank. The plug-in up here charges the car from dead to full with within two hours. That is on a, on a level two charge, which I recommend that everybody get one of those at their house. It's very easy to install. 
I installed by myself, just plugged it in, hung it on the wall, plugged it in. Um, the thing about this car is, since we're up this way, the engine compartment, pretty well packed. You've got your electric engine here, 360 horse, and you have your 1.5 liter four-cylinder Honda engine. Combined, it's 220 horse you have out of this little car. So it's not, it's, it's nothing to sneeze at. This car was, is a great race car too. And it's got air-cooled brakes. This is the cooling down here for the brakes. There's rear cooling for the brakes in the back. Not that anybody ever even uses the brakes. <laughs> so what kind of room does it have? Lots of room. This car is probably, it is, oh, excuse the dirty mat. But this, is, this car is the main reason why I bought it because most electric cars are kind of chintzy. They're small. They're, they don't, you know, I like feature comforts, right? This car's got electric seats and air conditioning and all kinds of power port plug-ins. Um, it's got a great screen. I mean, things that tell you how fast you're going and lane keep assist, where it'll actually keep you in the lane, um, which is a good thing. And um, it also has the following assist with cruise control. Won't let you run into the back, anybody. Um, you've got the trunk open. Does it have some good trunk space? Great trunk space. This is probably the main thing that sold me on this car is the trunk space. And both seats up front do pull down. For amazing trunk space. And notice when you're looking at this, the front seats are almost all the way back. I mean this this car, I I think I can crawl in there and sleep. <laughs> so let's take her for a drive. Okay. Yes. All right, so when you get in. Oh, Want to hear the radio? Yeah. You know what? These cars have great sound systems, too. That's what sells me. And everything's on the steering wheel, all the controls right there. And so how does this work, then? You just hit the... It's in drive. It's in drive? Yes. Oh, is it going right now? <laughs> yeah. Did, wow, it, that is quiet. You want me to rev up the engine? <laughs> <laughs> I have an interesting story uh, that I want you to share, and that was a trip that you took uh, to Portland. Let's talk a little bit about that. Yeah, that was two weeks ago when I went up to um, visit my son and uh, my sister. And while at her house, I used my little 110 charger to plug into her outside outlet and recharge the car. It took like nine hours and 110. And drove all the way back to where I live in Logston and the whole trip 315 miles I filled it up with gas only used four gallons of gas Wow so it used the electric the majority of the time when did it end up switching over I I manually switch it over here down here mm -hmm. where I pick what I want it to do whether I want an econ economy mode or EV mm -hmm. sport and or HV or HV with charge mm -hmm. But that's, it's, if you manually control it and kind of go with the guidelines with the speeds, higher speeds use HV, lower speeds use electric, is where you get your best economy. We can turn around. So it's very smooth and incredibly, as you can tell, it's incredibly is quiet. on our right so we don't run into anybody. See the screen? Mm hmm. And you can turn that on manually if you want it on too. And so that comes on when you're getting ready to, when you turn the blinker on? Right. So or it lets you, you know? you push on the end of the steering wheel and put it on all the time. Okay, so you can see what's going on all around you. Well, on the right side. Right. So what have been some of the main questions that um, you've been asked so far about your vehicle? What kind of rebates are still available for this car, especially since the rebates are falling off of the most popular electric car, the Tesla. And this car still gets the $7,500 tax credit. And that's, you better talk to your accountant to find out if you're eligible for that, if you have that much tax liability. And then the state, because I was informed at the last minute that 
the state has actually given you a $2,500 check for buying one of these cars. Um, but you have to hang on to the car for 24 months. Well, and it sounds like that's something you'd want to do anyway. <laughs> yeah, it's a great car. I mean, it's I, I've done a lot of research. I used to own a Leaf for mm -hmm. two years, and it, a couple of times I was afraid it was going to leaf me on the side of the road. <laughs> You know, that range anxiety where you don't have any backup. You know, for a while I was carrying a generator in the trunk. And then I found out the generators don't work on those cars. Uh -huh. So is that why you went to the hybrid? Yes. Yes, because I, I get tired of... The other thing with an all-electric car is on a trip or whatever, you got to plan on knowing where your charge stations are and when they're available. Because who wants to go into a gas station and wait a half an hour to get your tank filled. Mm. Unless you're in line at Costco to save 10 cents. Right. <laughs> oh, so I <laughs> yeah. So besides the rebates, are there any other reasons that you would suggest for folks to get a electric or hybrid car? You know what? Once you own a car like this pretty soon, you don't even pay any attention to what the gas prices are. Somebody comes up to you and says, do you see what those gas prices are in Newport? Oh, my God, they're up to $3.50. It's like, what? Oh, it is? Uh, they are? <laughs> huh, didn't notice. It's just they're, they're, they're quiet. They're, they're fun to drive. They're, um, they have a real low center of gravity. They corner really well. I think this car corners equal with my 06 Corvette. Wow, that's up, saying I, something. I put it up on a cornering contest this has got a very low center of gravity also, which is very important for handling. All right, Jay, is there anything else that you would like to add about your electric or vehicle or the hybrid vehicles? You know what? I, um, well, the closest one to this that does this kind of performance was the Chevy Volt. And in March last month is when they quit making them. Oh. So this is this is the only one available that does this kind of range performance with the safety of a um, of a small gas engine and gets and gets the seventy five hundred dollar tax credit. So if you do your homework, you'll find out that that this is absolutely your best value. All right. Well, Jay, thanks so much for taking us around in your electric vehicle today. And we appreciate it and uh, encourage folks to check out and get as much information as they can and uh, check out becoming an electric vehicle or hybrid owner. Okay. Thank you very much, Kira. Thanks for joining us on Pacific Northwest News and Entertainment. I'm Kira Morgan.